I would have the spike points, so it won't take much time. Uh, number one is this idea of uh, uh, better macroeconomic variables in the Asian region. As we are set for Asian century, the economic growth, whether uh, uh, to be seen from the foreign exchange reserves or savings uh, or, or, or even participation in the trade, we find that the regional uh, groupings, be that uh, RTPP or RCEP, there is a fraction now for economic growth. Point number second is in terms of, uh, it is because of these macroeconomic variables which are in better shape that uh, those who are uh, negotiating RCEP are also uh, a part of uh, TPP. So there is global uh, uh, attractiveness of Asian economies to, to, uh, to get reflected in the larger uh, canvas. As uh, we rightly heard the Honorable Minister, the point is in terms of addressing the non-tariff majors, and, and that I think is is, is uh, continuing to be a major blockhead in terms of uh, moving ahead with uh, uh, with RCEP, and that uh, reflects the uh, the plurality of the economies. Economies are at uh, different stages of uh, of development, so it's important to appreciate that and and uh, bring the convergence as uh, is required. Do I agree with my panelists uh, before me to say that TPP and, and RCEP would eventually combine? But we could combine uh, uh, at, at what uh, uh, trajectory, at what time, that is uh, extremely important. There are three uh, uh, points that I think uh, economies can be encouraged to do. Number one, uh, liberalization of, of the, uh, at the domestic level after their adequate uh, uh, preparedness. Second is more space for uh, countries which are lagging behind in the process so that uh, they can catch up. Unfortunately, economic restrictions these days do not bring in the idea of uh, uh, catching up. And this catching up theory would have to be revisited uh, to, to uh, allow this kind of maneuvering space. Number three is in terms of promoting value chains, which themselves would give uh, space for economic development. The ideas of converging econ uh, intellectual property rights all across all economies would uh, show up the, uh, uh, the idea from the, uh, from the window. We need to give space to countries which are uh, in the process of uh, economic development. And last uh, uh, is, uh, is, is the point which uh, uh, Excellency uh, uh, Liu Kuang very rightly mentioned in terms of sustainable development goals. After all, uh, these trade agreements, whether RCEP or TPP, these are for the people. And, and if uh, no one is to be left behind, as SDG says, then we need to bring in this idea of plurality. People would have to be at the center of economic development. We need to see how these uh, uh, various uh, initiatives may combine in terms of getting uh, 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 people and, and different countries together. And from that point of view, uh, the institutions like Asian Development Bank be encouraged to reinvent themselves to, uh, to bring uh, closer to the people the new institutions which are coming up, as my uh, previous speaker rightly mentioned, non-setting for uh, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, uh, the Decent Fund, that is extremely important. We need to highlight that and, and uh, bring that uh, up for. And that's, that's precisely the point uh, which Sustainable Development Goals are, are, uh, are trying to address. We need to bring centrality to SDG and, and the policies around that. Be that be in terms of uh, industrial policy, be that in terms of uh, providing the equality within the uh, economic growth processes that are required, I would stop here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker is. Uh,